Hello there. I just wanted to share something that I was playing around with uh, in Game Maker Studio 2. Um, this, uh, you can see here in the background as it pops up, boing boing. Um, it's a very simple project. Um, I'm gonna stop it. Uh, just one sprite, uh, two objects, a controller object and a fighter object, and a bunch of scripts. So what is this? Well, it's based on a genetic algorithm. What is that? All right, so that is all these little dudes you're seeing here. These little meeple guys. So each one of those um, is a fighter. And they, these guys all fight with each other. As you can see, they're different colors. Each color diff uh, represents a different race or species, if you will. Uh, and they're basically racists. And so they're trying to get rid of all the other guys and just, you know, propagate themselves. And slowly but surely, this is happening through this genetic algorithm process. And what happens is they go to war and they kill off uh, about half of each other. And once half of them are killed off, uh, of the remaining guys that are left, uh, they all have a score called a fit score. And the fit score is calculated based on um, like basically their genetics, as in their stats over here. This list on the left side is a list of all the individual stats for the individual meeple guys here. And so if you have really good stats uh, and you get some kills uh, that also ties in, then it'll raise your fit score. And so if you survive the battle and you have a high enough fit score, you'll be a good partner for mating. Uh, because every time you see a bunch of new guys flash in, those are born from two survivors. As in, uh, all the new spawns have two parents. Uh, and their stats are based off of their parents' stats. Um, so, when new guys are added to the list, both of their color and the rest of their stats are permutations of previous guys. So they're ancestors. And that's the sort of genetic part of it. And slowly but surely they evolve into all being sort of the same guy. Or at least a couple of like big groups and then they fight it out and one of them will come out victorious in the end. Uh, and of course this is super fascinating to me at least. Um, the whole like the way it just works and it's, it's seemingly random but not really um, uh, it's super fascinating uh, watching the, the algorithm go through its thing and, and just seeing here it, it, this one passed through 62 generations before red clearly won the battle um, and I coded all this as I said in Game Maker Studio just because I'm comfortable with Game Maker Studio and I was actually kind of curious to see if it could even be done in Game Maker Studio. Uh, I've seen tutorials about doing it in Python. I've seen tutorials about doing it in various other languages, but um, uh, Unity and C Sharp, but not Game Maker Studio. So I wanted to see if it was possible, and I did this in probably about 10 hours or so. Uh, two sessions. One of them was overnight when I couldn't sleep, so I made a ton of mistake, and the code is super, super sloppy. Um, um, I'm not particularly proud of the code, but I am pretty happy with the results of the actual um, the actual war that's happening here and you'll see that there are some survivors and that's because um, each guy has sort of a zone around it like a, a privacy sphere or whatever you want to call it so if nobody is in within that zone uh, then he, he's just chill he's just gonna relax and he'll tolerate other guys within that so I'm actually not quite sure why this why these two get along uh, maybe there's just, he must be just on the cusp. Um, I know it measures from the middle of the object, so it could be that this distance is just enough. Uh, or maybe these guys are just like friends, who knows. Uh, finally, I have some stats up here that shows the average. Um, so the average score at the end was uh, 9.87 was the average fit score, which is, I think, the minimum required for breeding is 12. I think it is. But these are all like parameters that are fun to play with, like what's the minimum fit requirement, uh, what is the weight of the different stats when calculating the fit, um, and uh, what else? Like you can play with like the population size that'll also 
uh, change how things play out. Uh, this is about 500 and I left it at that because it runs fairly smoothly uh, so it's easy to see what's going on without being super super cluttered while still cluttered enough to be entertaining. Uh, I hope you were entertained by this uh, if you are interested in learning more. Um, there's tons of stuff on the interweb so that you can look for further exploration. This was just my own little experiment and wanting to share um, sort of how it worked out. And uh, as you can see, it worked out. Thanks for watching.